cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hi! Good afternoon! Good afternoon, learners from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So as our parents, guardians, and of course, our teachers who are watching with us here in Itulay Grade 6. Magandang hapon and so welcome back. It has been like a week since the break. I hope that everyone is really doing well. Okay, and sino kaya yung kasama natin this afternoon? Wow! Okay, so ang first, okay, first comer natin I see Diana Abon. Good afternoon. And watching po from Tabok City Division. Good afternoon, Teresita Gunawa. Okay. So from Malinao Elementary School, 6 Matapat. Hi, Alriza Zaiden. Okay, so I am your I'm your tutor for this afternoon. Your English is six buddy. I'm your teacher jazz or tutor jazz. Okay, for this Italy session. Good afternoon, also Jerv Gonzalez, watching from Quezon City. Okay, and since we are just having forty minutes, let's now proceed to our discussion. Okay, so here, I hope that I can already share my screen. I know. Uh huh. Okay, so we are now on quarter three, week one. Okay, but this afternoon we're going to discuss on how to make a stand based on informed opinion. Okay, but before that, let me thank the division of Pasig City first for the SLM that I will be using this afternoon. Maraming salamat po. And okay. Sila po yung, uh, nandito sa screen ko, yung ating development team of the self-learning module from the writer, editor, um, reviewer, illustrator, layout artist, the management team from SDS to EPS. Maraming salamat po. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon, Ma'am Torre from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School. Oh, hi, good afternoon, teachers and also learners from Division of Pasig City, especially from San Lorenzo, San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School. Hi, the teacher Arian Aragona, good afternoon. Okay, so let's have this one. Bago tayo dumako sa ating aralin, Let's do this pretest first so that I'll know how well you understand or how well you know this lesson that we have this afternoon. Ready? Okay, let's have this one. 
Um, okay, for the direction, what will be your stand on the following opinions? All you have to do is to choose the letter of the best answer. Learners, my grade six learners, warriors, you have to answer doon sa ating comment box, okay? I am going to read all of your answers as much as I can, so just drop your, your answers in there, okay? All right, so let's have this one. Number one, in my opinion, child abuse may affect children's growth. Is it A? A, agree. Because a child who is being abused may have fear of socializing or sometimes they will be rude to other children. Is it B, disagree. All children have their way of coping with the, the abuse done to them. Or is it C? A disagree. Any form of abuse won't have any effect on children. Drop your answers now. Tingnan nga natin. Okay, wow. Okay, so the correct answer here is letter A. Tama po. Emilia G. Mula, Evangeline Gamboa, Alex Aklar. Ak Clara Shawn, Paula, Angela, Tuazon, John, Mark, Kathleen, and a lot more. Nakakatuwa ang dami nating participants this or viewers this afternoon. Good job, my grade 6 warriors. Okay, and let's now proceed to number 2. I believe that to avoid any conflicts or conflicts in the family, we have to consider the feelings and opinions of one another. Okay, ano kayo yung best na stand dito? A, disagree. We should express our opinion no matter what. B, agree. We must be mindful of what we say towards family members. Is it letter C, agree? We should always just agree with what others say. Drop your answers now. Uh, ha, okay, for number two. Oh, learners, para pala malaman ko kung saan yung sinasagutan nyo, lagyan nyo pala ng number, like number 2A, number 2B, like that, number 1, 2, and 3, okay? Lagyan nyo ng number para alam ko. Okay, so for number two, the answer is, okay, tam, ah, okay, Sophia, Sophia, Elijah Cabodel, um, Judith Santos, Jerv Gonzalez, Elijah Cabodel, Crystal, John Mark Albios. Tama po ang sagot ninyo because our answer here is definitely letter B. Okay, agree. We must be mindful of what we say towards our, our family members. Okay, the last one. Number three. Okay, tingnan natin kung opinion to. I think every child should be taught how to think, not what to think. What's your answer? Sige nga. O kayo naman magbasa from A, B, and C. Basahin and then once done, drop your answer sa ating comment box. Good afternoon, Grace Ann Bar Barayuga Laurano from SDO Likab Annex, Villarosa Elementary School. Good afternoon. Okay, so for number three, tingnan natin. Okay, Keisha, Keygold, Lerma, Mary Ann Villela. Okay, ah, uh, then then Bianya, Priscilla Villero, ang sagot natin dito ay letter, okay, letter C. Okay, for number three, C. Okay, we should, uh, we should teach our children not how, okay, not what, not what to think, but really how to think, okay? So here, uh, elders should help a child develop his or her creativity and critical thinking. Okay, so very good everyone. Taas ang kanang kamay ulit. Na-miss nyo ba to? Taas ang kanang kamay. Lagay sa, how do you say it? Sa shoulder. Itap yung sarili. Good job for doing so well. Okay, so let's now proceed to you. What's next? Okay, our recap. Okay, so I uh, I hope that uh, you already learned the, the, um, the thing about opinion. I believe that you already had that with uh, with your teacher okay uh what is this one before we before this okay before this topic you already had that providing evidence is that it okay like providing evidence to support or to support your opinion okay so 
ngayon mag ano tayo pumunta tayo natin pumunta tayo sa ating review okay so in every opinion okay in every opinion that must be supported with evidence or proof tama naman ano why because strong opinions may offend the reader or maybe the listener who may feel differently about the issue or have a personal connection to the opposing view. Okay, so with that, we should be mindful learners. Okay, we should be mindful. All right, that's why providing evidence is really a must. Okay, so example, tingnan natin to example natin. I have here an opinion and the evidence or proof. Okay, opinion number one. I believe that Reyes family is ideal. They help each other in doing the household chores. So, ito yung idea ko. Why? Why is it that? Why is it that? Um, et, sin, nasabi ko yon. It's because I have this backup evidence. I have this backup proof. And nandito yung sa may kabila. Okay? Because nakita yun yan. Theo, the eldest brother, throws garbage every morning. What else? Annie, the youngest in the family, does the furniture every day. Monique and also father. Okay? So, nakikita nyo, nagtutulungan sila. That's why I said that Reyes of family was indeed an ideal family. Okay? Kasi may backup, may proof. Okay? May evidence. Second, second opinion. Anna loves her younger sister. And why did I say that Anna loves her younger sister? Because I have these proofs. I have these evidences to show that Anna really loves her sister. Because she does what? She helps her sister when she needs help, joins her sister when playing, and comforts her sister when she's sad. Okay, you know, those are some evidences or proofs that uh, prove that Anna loves her younger sister. Okay, so we have we have here the opinion. So what's the proof or the evidence? Okay, to back up our opinion. Okay, so let's now have this one. Ah, a moment. Okay, so lesson part now. Okay, tinan nga natin kung sino pa yun nandito. Oh, good afternoon. Watching from SDO. Ah, nasa ano ko na to, no? SDO Likab Annex, Grace Ann. Teresita Villaruz. And then Elijah Cabodel from Tacloban City, watching from Lapad Elementary School, Misamis Oriental, and also Grade Ten is spectacular. Wow, my Grade Ten tayo this afternoon. Ah, okay. So let's have for our lesson. Since sabi ko kanina no anong lesson natin ay uh what is this okay make a stand based on informed opinion okay so this time we're going to study on how to make a stand based on an based on informed opinion since we are talking about how to make that stand then we will be discussing some sort of techniques okay techniques or concepts on how to make a stand okay on any issue or let's say issues okay so always remember that when you are making a stand my dear learners based on informed opinion it might only be one and two what are those that might only be agreeing or you're against it you cannot never be in the middle okay so it couldn't be both it couldn't be agree or you you're against it that couldn't be that you're in the middle okay it's always either you agree or you don't agree at all okay but if you say like oh teacher um teacher i just want to be just in the middle you know well let me tell you let me tell you my learners okay um, you are not making a stand in there. Okay? So, sabi ko, ag you're, um, you agree lang at saka you against. Walang in between. Okay? So, pag gusto nyo like in between, kasi gusto mo uh, para ano, para safe, well, there, you are not making a stand in there. Okay? In reality, we call that playing safe. Right? So, you know, my hope is that even as your age right now, even as young as you are right now, I see you. 
I mean, we see you as our now leaders. So as your teacher and as a generation ahead of you, my hope is that you will have that wisdom to understand things in a deeper way. All right? So kailangan yung manindigan at dapat meron talaga kayong paninindigan. Hindi pa pwedeng you always go with the flow. All right? So you remember, remember this everyone. You are made to matter. Sabihin niyo ngayon, I am made to matter. All right? So make sure, make sure that your voice will create a change. That might not be heard for now, but at least okay, but that is okay. At at least you tried and you did your part. Okay, so therefore, in making a stand, you must consider really a lot of things. Actually, a lot of things. But like right now, I just have prepared four. Okay, so this actually, this actually is a very good topic. That that once you understand and apply this in your real life, you know this is going to be a great help. All right. So make a stand based on informed opinion. Okay. So without much further ado, and dami ko na sinabi ano. Let's now proceed to the concepts. Okay. Or techniques. Okay. So in here, concepts or techniques on how to make a stand based on any issue or issues. Apat lang yung apat lang yung nandito. Okay. But there are there are a lot. But let's just consider these four. Okay. So let's have a quick discussion. Okay, on concepts or techniques on how to make a stand based on, on any issue. Okay, the first one, get straight to the point. Get straight to the point. You must say directly what you want to say. Stop talking about unimportant details. Okay, so how, how are we going to do that? To get straight to the point means to be direct or get the heart of the issue at hand. It's better to be straight to the point at least most of the time. Why? As it lessen chaos, okay, you know, wag patumpik-tumpik, daracho lang. By that, we can save what? We can save energy. We can save time, okay? So, remember, get straight to the point. Okay, second. Second here we have avoid being biased. Oh, no. Okay, avoid being biased. What does this mean, learners? You know, very important ito. As we know that the world is an inherently unfair place. So, tayo, wag na tayong dumagdag. Okay? So, wag na tayong dumagdag pa. Let's be fair. Let's normalize fairness as much as we can. I believe that we really can. Okay? So, it's just like, kung pinakinggan mo ang isa, you have to hear the other side as well, okay? After all, after all, we do have two ears. Okay, we have two ears to listen, not just one. Napakabuti ng Lord, ano, like, um, designing two ears. That means, like, we really have to listen, okay? Not just in one, uh, not just to uh, one side, okay? But both, all right? So, for number two, avoid being biased. You should be equal, not that you are not agreeing because you are upset or you only want it. Be professional, be just, and be fair. All right? Next, number three. Okay, know your facts. We're finished. Okay, know your facts. Uh, ito naman, important din to because bago ka manindigan, alamin mo muna kung ano ang iyong papanindigan, right? Hindi dahil narinig mo or sinabi ng classmate mo, ay tama na iyon, okay? You, and you will go for it. So lahat tayo ay may sariling mind and let's use that, okay? Actually, this number three is interconnected to number two, okay? So you must consider the truth. Here, you must consider the truth and also if it is right or wrong. Tama ba yun or mali ba yun? Okay, so open your ears. Okay, hindi lang yung mata, no? But your ears, your eyes, and also your heart. Not because the person you like said it. So, ay dapat mo nang paniwalaan. Okay, so again, be rational. Be fair. May sarili din tayong isip. So, let's use that. And I hope that in your age, as young as you are, Okay, you already have that sense of right and wrong. Yung sense ng tama o mali. Okay, so actually that is wisdom. You always pray for that wisdom. Not a worldly wisdom, but the wisdom that came from him. 
Okay, because remember, you are our now leaders. Okay, and the last one, we have number four. Number four is be respectful in giving opinions. Okay, you should still be polite. So in here, you should still be polite in giving opinion so as not to offend someone. We should consider as well the feelings, okay? The feelings of other people. Makakasakit ba ako like that? So you have to know that, okay? Then, my favorite lines goes here. Rebuke with love, okay? Like, when you really want to say it, then maybe you can say it, but uh, you always remember you do it with love. All right? So you don't need to fight someone for you to insist your opinion here. You don't need to shout for you to state your opinion because you are studying and I believe that shouting someone is not a mark of an of an educated person. Okay? So you have to compose yourself. You have to present yourself well kasi nag-aaral kayo. Okay? So be respectful. Napakaganda na, napakaganda ng concepts na meron tayo dito. Okay, so again, so let me um let me sum it up. Concepts or technique techniques on how to make a stand based on any issue. We have get straight to the point, avoid being biased, ano pa? Um know your facts and be respectful in giving opinions. All right? Okay, I hope that you've learned something and let's now proceed to okay, the next one because it's already 125. Time so fast. Okay, so meron ako dito, uh, meron ako dito, uh, what was the one? Uh, like, like a short story. Okay, tingnan natin kung anong opinion nyo. Okay, so as you can see the picture here and like a short story over there, let's read. Let's read, tapos sabihin nyo sa akin yung inyong opinion later. Okay, so Eliza, sabayan nyo ako. Eliza is 11 year old and fifth among the 10 children of Mang Dolpo and Aling Iska. Her family lives beside the riverbanks. Their source of living is from the junk they collect. Eliza works underpaid to Mrs. Dahlia as a vendor in the market. Tingnan natin. Okay. Study situation and analyze the opinion form. Make a stand. You have to make a stand. Okay. So, ito yung opinion. I believe due to poverty at an early age, Eliza is already working to help her family. Pwede kang, uh, pwede, yeah, you agree? Pwede you, you disagree? Okay, tingnan natin yung possible stand. Okay, possible stand. Agree. Okay, agree. Why? I agree with what she is doing because being a good child, she should help her parents to get out of poverty. Pwede naman ito yung stand niyo, you agree. Or pwede naman you don't agree. Okay? In here, I don't agree with what she is doing because every child, okay, because every child is... Uh, every child has the right to education. It is not the child's obligation to work for the family. So, sabi ko kanina, it's it's just either you know you agree or you you go against it. You cannot be you cannot choose both or you cannot be in the middle. It's either you know left or right, yes or no. Ganon lang yan. That's how we are making you know stand. Okay, so kayo ba? Number one or number two? You agree ba or you disagree? Tinan nga natin, oh, may disagree, may agree. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. May disagree, may agree. So, yun naman, you know, oh, hindi naman lahat tayo ay agree, hindi tayo lahat ay disagree. We really have to respect um the differences of opinion. Okay? So, let's have this one. Okay, agree sila si Eunice, si Jillian, si Elriza. Okay. So, tama naman. Okay, next one. Okay, for our guided practice. Okay, tingnan nga natin ito. Let's try a few items as a practice exercise. What will be your stand? What will be your stand on the following opinions? Choose the letter of the best answer and, okay, sulat sa, siguro sa notebook ninyo, okay, or sa comment natin. Number one, I believe that a good father should not only provide for his family, he must also take part in teaching his children what is right and wrong. He should also encourage his children to do their best. So, ano kaya ang possible stand natin dito? Okay. A. 
I agree because a father must also help in disciplining his children. B. I disagree because a father's role is only to make money for the family. Is it C? Um, I disagree. What is this, Larry C? I disagree because it must be the role of mother only. Your answer is, what's your answer for number one? Um, learners, magsulat, sulat nyo yung item number high, number, tapos yung sagot niya. Okay, Keisha, Alex, Aklarasyon, Rian, Elijah, Cabodel, Janet, Ligon, Robles, John Mark, Albios, letter A, that's right. Very good, learners. Next. Okay, number two tayo. In my opinion, telling the truth without consideration can hurt siblings' feelings. Hey, I agree. Because we can still be honest without hurting the feelings of others. B. I disagree because the truth should always prevail. Or is it letter C? I disagree. We should always tell the truth even though it hurts. Number two now, learners, drop your answers. Okay, drop your answers. Number two. Okay, Keisha, number two, that's letter A. Who else? Keisha Toston, Ale Layante, A. Bricks, Arky Gonzalez, Angelica Elcano, Cassandra Eunice Magsumbol, Paula Angela Tuazon, Colleen Estrada, ang tamang sagot ay letter A. That's right. Good job. Next, last one. Tingnan natin. I believe that a mother loves her child when she doesn't ask him or her to do any household chores. Do you agree? Or you don't? Okay, is it A? I agree because a mother is always kind to her child. B. I agree because every mother must consider if her child wants to do household chores or not. Or is it letter C? Uh, or is it letter C? I disagree. Okay, what is that letter C? I disagree. A mother who truly loves her child will teach him. Okay, will teach him what? Uh, will teach him or her to do household chores for him or her to be responsible and self-reliant. Number three, drop your answers now. Okay, John Mark Albios, C, Elijah Cabodel, C, ja Elijah Cabodel, C, uh, Angela De Leon, Christian Jake Oxima, C, C Jared Jan Mingilio, C, Okay, like me, Seno. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Good job, everyone. You're doing so well. Okay, now let's have this one. Okay, activities. Okay, madami tayong activities ngayon, no? And I hope na nasasagutan nyo din yung module ninyo, no? Kasi one of, one of the purpose ng ating itulay ay matulungan kayo, you know, learners and uh, parents or guardians na masagutan yung module ninyo. Okay, so tingnan nga natin. Ayan. I-drop ko na lahat para mabilis. Ano? Okay, activity one. Put a check mark if the sentence is a possible stand to the given opinion below. You read first. Okay. You, everyone, you read aloud the opinion that I have here. Okay. And you tell me if it's like a possible stand for one to five. Ready? Let's do it. I believe that the Reyes family is happy because each of them works together. The children are raised well. Sometimes there are misunderstandings, but it is resolved in good conversation. Although life is difficult, they talk about it well, especially when it comes to money problems. Number one. So, tina, uh, ang inyong isasagot dyan ay yung check, parang check. Uh, how, do you, how do you call this one? Okay, okay, X. Okay, so yun na lang yung isasending niya dito sa ating, uh, ating comment. Ah, just like that, Paula. I agree because when there is cooperation, there is love in the family. Okay, that's correct. Check. Number two. Okay, Keisha, that's right. Janela, that's correct. Number two, I disagree because a happy family should what? Should not have any conflict. Hmm? Okay, I don't. Okay. Okay, number two, walang check. Okay, number three, I agree that nothing can be solved with a good conversation. Okay, 
I agree that nothing. Okay, what is that? Uh, number one. Oh, number two na. Number three na nga tayo eh. Okay, for number one pa lang. Okay, that nothing can be sold. Okay, number two. Okay, wala. Ah, okay. So, number three. Okay, so we have here number three already seen ito. Sophia. Okay, Sophia Marisi Caparos. And then Keisha and then Sophia. Okay, how about for number four? I disagree because there is no perfect family. May perfect bang family? This is a possible stand. Okay, wala, no? Okay, ah, ah, wait a minute. Number, anong number na tayo? Number four? One, Antonio. Ang dami, ang dami nagko-comment, no? Wait lang. Okay, Akisha. Akisha Dilan. Elijah Cabodel. Ruth Ann Pelejo. Stephen Selye. I disagree because there's no perfect family. Okay. How about for number five? I agree because a family needs not only money but also the love of a... Ano tong the love of a... a potol. Oh, wait, wait a minute. The love of a parent and other cooperation of each member. Okay, number five. Cassandra Yunis Magsumbol, Colleen Estrada, Keisha, that's right, Antonio, that's correct, Jared, Jan Albios, Marvin Billiones, Colleen Estrada. Okay, so thank you so much for participating so well. Okay, so that's it, and let's have this one. Ah, okay, so we, five minutes na lang. Okay, let's now, okay, let's have this wrap up now. Okay, so wrap up na tayo. Uh, let's see. To sum, up, to sum up what you have learned for today, okay, tingnan natin yan. Ano ang gagawin ninyo? Fill in the blanks to complete the paragraph and you have to choose your answer from the box we have here directly, truth, equal, polite, and upset. Drop ulit sa box ha? Yung sagot ninyo, comment. In making, okay, in making a, an opinion based on informed opinion, you say what? Tingnan nga natin ang inyong mga sagot. Ah, oh, okay. So you should be? Isa pa lang, ah, dalawa pa lang? Okay. You say, you say, yes, it's... Sophia, okay, Sophia Bagasan, that's correct. Janet Ocampo, correct. Okay, make an opinion based on informed opinion. You say directly what you want to say. Okay, next. You should be? You should be what? Number two na. Second, number two. Tingnan nga. Uh-oh. You should be? Second na tayo. You should be? You should be. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. okay. So for number two, you should be equal. You, I mean, you should be equal. Not that you are agreeing because you are. Number three, yeah. Uh, number three, okay. Not that you are agreeing because you are upset or you only want it. You must consider the. The truth. You must consider the truth. That's for number four. And you should still be polite. Okay, polite and giving opinion so as not to offend someone. All right? Okay, next, let's have this one. Oh, a moment. Okay, so tat tat tatandaan nyo to, ha? Yung ating wrap up, okay? Kasi ito yung, ano, yung sum up ng ating pinag-aralan kanina. Okay, next. Okay, valuing. Tingnan natin. How do we show the unity in our family? Okay, choose your answer. 
on the following sentence by putting a smiley face. Okay? So, dito naman, sendan nyo ako ng smiley face. Okay? One. Tinan natin. Tinan natin yung number one. Settle differences peacefully. Smile ba yan? Okay, dad. That smile. Number two. Work and make money for your family every day. I guess it's not a smile. Okay, so hindi ito. Okay? Number three. Make your family aware that they are your main priority. That is, okay, smile. Okay, and number four. Okay, number four. Do not consult the family members when deciding for them. Oh, hi! Good afternoon! Good afternoon, Ruela Plana from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School. And lahat ng grade 6 teachers. Ma'am Elsie, our GL, Ma'am Navarrete, Ma'am Neth, Ma'am Ellen, Ma'am Karel, Sir Felix, Ma'am Gondra, Ma'am Mercado, Ma'am Rose, and a lot more. Good afternoon. And number 5. Oh, number four, hindi to smiley, ah. Number five, help one another another in doing the household chores. Okay, smile. Okay, so smiley face. Okay, and our time is already finished. Oh, tina natin. Okay, yung post test natin as much as I want to... Uh, I want to answer this, but our time is so constrained. So this is going to be your homework. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, for being with me here this afternoon. And we'll see each other on Tuesday, okay? Same time at 1 p.m. Um, again, I hope that you have really learned something because um, personally, I really like this topic. Okay, so again, again and again. Ano ang pinag-aakala natin kanina? Making, okay, like making a stand based on informed opinion. Okay, so meron yung ano yung yung mga concepts, yung mga techniques, you always, okay, you always remember those. Okay? Get straight to the point. Avoid being biased. What else? Know your facts and be responsible. Respectful in giving opinions. And before I go, tingnan muna natin yung ating mga participants. Okay, yes, goodbye everyone. Okay, and uh, me. Okay, so salamat sa ating, okay, salamat sa pagsama sa akin this afternoon. Goodbye, we'll see you back on Tuesday.